Imagine a submarine, but not just any submarine. Imagine a vessel so massive it dwarfs even the largest battleships. This Cold War behemoth was known as the Dmitry Donskoy, a Typhoon-class Leviathan, the largest submarine ever constructed. Its size was a testament to Soviet engineering might. Designated TK-208, it was the product of a bygone era, an era defined by technological one-upmanship and nuclear threat. Laid down in 1976 and commissioned in 1980, it was a statement of Soviet presence. A new era of underwater dominance was being ushered in, built to defend the motherland from any and all threats. The Cold War was a time of unprecedented technological advancement, particularly in military hardware. The Soviets poured immense resources into their submarine program. The result was the Typhoon class, redefining underwater warfare. The Dmitry Donskoy was a marvel of engineering. A new construction hall was built at Sevmash shipyard to accommodate its size. Weighing 48,000 tons submerged, it was heavier than some surface ships. Its size allowed it to carry a formidable arsenal of nuclear missiles. This was crucial for deploying submarines under the Arctic ice cap. The Dmitry Donskoy became a key component of the Soviet Union's nuclear deterrent. What truly set the Dmitry Donskoy and its Typhoon-class siblings apart was their unique double-hull design. Imagine two separate pressure-resistant hulls nestled one inside the other like Russian nesting dolls. This wasn't just for show. It was a revolutionary approach to submarine construction, providing unparalleled strength and survivability. This design, never before seen in a submarine, offered numerous advantages. The inner pressure hull, where the crew lived and worked, was free from the immense stresses of deep diving. This meant a more comfortable environment for the crew and less risk of catastrophic hull failure. The space between the hulls, known as the interhull space, wasn't just wasted space. It was subdivided into numerous compartments, some of which could be flooded to achieve neutral buoyancy. This design feature also provided additional protection against underwater explosions and collisions. This robust design was a direct response to the increasing sophistication of American anti-submarine warfare capabilities. The Soviets knew that their submarines would be hunted relentlessly, so they designed the Typhoon class to be as close to indestructible as possible. Section 4. Life below the waves. Living and working hundreds of feet beneath the surface of the ocean for months on end might seem unimaginable to most. Yet for the 160-man crew of the Dmitry Donskoy, it was their reality. These weren't just sailors, they were a special breed, highly trained and dedicated individuals entrusted with one of the Soviet Union's most powerful weapons. Life aboard the submarine was far from luxurious, but the Soviet designers had taken steps to ensure the crew's well-being during their long and arduous patrols. The Dmitry Donskoy boasted amenities unheard of in previous submarine classes, a small swimming pool, a sauna, even a wood-panelled lounge. These creature comforts weren't mere indulgences. They were essential for maintaining morale and combat effectiveness during patrols that could last for months. Imagine the psychological toll of being submerged, cut off from the outside world with the constant threat of danger looming. Despite these amenities, life aboard the submarine was demanding and often monotonous. The crew worked in shifts, maintaining the submarine's complex systems, monitoring sensors and standing ready at their battle stations. Every crew member, from the captain to the most junior seaman, played a vital role in the submarine's operation. Section 5. Leviathan's Teeth. The Dmitry Donskoy wasn't just large, it was armed to the teeth with a terrifying array of weaponry. Its primary armament consisted of 20 R-39 rift ballistic missiles, each capable of carrying 10 independently targetable nuclear warheads. These missiles, with a range of over 5,000 miles, could reach deep into enemy territory, delivering their devastating payloads with pinpoint accuracy. In addition to its ballistic missiles, the submarine was also equipped with six 533mm torpedo tubes, capable of launching a variety of torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. This gave the Dmitry Donskoy a significant punch in a close quarters engagement, allowing it to defend itself against enemy submarines and surface ships. The submarine's nuclear reactor, the heart of the beast, provided virtually unlimited underwater endurance. 
This meant that the Dmitry Donskoy could remain submerged for months, its location unknown, a silent predator stalking its prey. The thought of this underwater behemoth, armed with enough firepower to obliterate entire cities, lurking beneath the waves, was a chilling prospect for the West. The Dmitry Donskoy and its sister ships represented a significant escalation in the Cold War arms race, forcing the United States and its allies to respond in kind. <laughs> Section 6. Silent Hunter. The Dmitry Donskoy, despite its immense size, was designed to operate with stealth. Detecting a submarine, especially one as large as the Typhoon class, was a challenging task. The submarine's massive size actually worked in its favour in this regard. The sheer volume of the submarine's interior allowed for the installation of advanced noise reduction equipment. The machinery was mounted on special vibration damping platforms and the hull was coated with anechoic tiles which absorbed sonar waves. These measures combined with the submarine's ability to operate at extreme depths made it incredibly difficult to detect using sonar the primary means of underwater detection. The Dmitry Donskoy, like a phantom, could slip through the ocean depths, its presence unknown until it was too late. The submarine's operational strategy relied on this stealth. The Dmitry Donskoy would patrol designated areas of the ocean, remaining submerged and undetected for months. In the event of a nuclear war, it would launch its deadly payload, unleashing unimaginable destruction upon its targets. Section 7, Legacy, of the Leviathan. The Dmitry Donskoy's legacy is one of power, innovation and the constant shadow of the Cold War. This submarine, along with its sister ships, symbolized the peak of Soviet naval engineering and the relentless drive for military superiority. Even today, the lessons learned from the Typhoon class continue to influence submarine design and strategy. As we reflect on this era, it's clear that the Dmitry Donskoy was more than just a weapon. It was a testament to human ingenuity and the complexities of global power dynamics.